right. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but my voice is still not 100% back. Today I'm just going to take it slow and I'm just going to paint. I haven't sketched or painted for like two weeks because we were all sick. I'm going to get back into drawing and uh, painting to kind of like get back into the habit. I feel like it's so much easier to be happy with what I'm making when I sketch almost every day compared to taking a long break and then getting back into it. I kind of feel rusty even though it's only been two weeks which is not so long. about to film a sketchbook tour for my patrons today so this is what it's going to look like and yeah i'm very excited it's the first sketchbook tour that i filmed ever i guess <laughs> It's been like two weeks or something since I last recorded. What can I say? It's been a very, very stressful couple of weeks. But now everything is back to normal. I'm back in my usual routine. Okay, so last week I finished my sketchbook. It's the first sketchbook I finished I think since I started taking illustration more seriously again, I did a lot of sketching in my sketchbook when I started trying to become a full-time artist and that was like six years ago or something and then I switched to digital art and I just drew it on my iPad. Didn't do any traditional art in a while. So I finished this sketchbook. It's all done. This is a Moleskine Square sketchbook. I get a lot of questions about the sketchbook that I'm using so that's the one and I was out of sketchbooks for a while and that was that was sad but today I got two new ones this one is the same one like this one it's a moleskine art square 
sketch album not the best for for color so if you like using watercolors for example in or even gouache pens or whatever markers in your sketchbook this is not the best sketchbook for you um, the paper is kind of thin it's also bleeding through but i really like the paper it's like off-white ivory kind of color it's really thin but it does lay flat this one is the old version this one is a little different it has a different binding and it has a perforation here i don't know if i like that i think i like this one i think i like the other one more but they don't have that one anymore got another one this one is by midori it's the a5 md notebook i have the same one with a grid and i like the paper quality a lot so the the paper is very smooth it's also very thin it's definitely not supposed to be a sketchbook it's the same thing with like inks or watercolors i think it will bleed and it's also not it, it doesn't absorb a lot of the liquid and the pigment so i usually don't really use colors i just use um and a pen and this one fits in my bag so it's just perfect to bring with me anywhere i go so now i'm gonna go outside i think i'm gonna grab a coffee and break in my new sketchbook been drawing some of these ink outfits i mean i always really like drawing people and outfits it's something that always comes back to me sometimes i try to push it away but i always end up drawing people again right now i've been really enjoying painting them with my ink so this is what i'm gonna do now Hello everyone. I got two new tutus last week. So one is this moon and a sun. And also yesterday new prints came in, so let's have a look. Oh wow. Okay, so this is the print. Those are all of my like favorite sketches from my sketchbook. And I scanned in all of the pages I like and then I cut all of them out and try to fit them all on one art print. I don't think you can see it in a camera but you can actually see a little bit where I cut them. The background is not one even shade of beige and I really like how the skins turned out to look in print. This is for my August happy mail and these are and these are the stickers that come with it. Okay, my loves, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and a special thanks goes out to my patrons. See you very soon. Bye, guys.